If there's one thing Europe needed during the economic crisis, it was a clear way to restore confidence among jittery financial markets. Well, now the EU has it, the European Stability Mechanism, a key plank of Europe's response to the crisis and the main pillar of support for member states in financial troubles. The ESM was inaugurated in 2012 to help prevent sovereign debt tensions and financial shockwaves like those that have shaken the globe in recent years. It's a permanent structure that policymakers believe will help Euro area member states withstand economic incidents that might threaten their financial stability and possibly that of the entire European Union. The ESM is a permanent institution, has a firepower, a total lending capacity of 500 billion euros. So far, the ESM has only used about 50 billion for Spain and Cyprus, so 90 percent or 450 billion euro is still left. The annual meeting on June 20 of the ESM's Board of Governors, its top decision-making body comprised of Euro Area Finance Ministers, coincides with the phasing out of the temporary European Financial Stability Facility. The Board is also due to approve the ESM's annual report. When a country requests help in time of need, the ESM can issue bonds or other debt instruments onto world financial markets to raise capital. It can provide loans to members, intervene on primary and secondary debt markets or take other action based on a precautionary program. Its actions will require a memorandum of understanding negotiated between the country needing the help and the European Commission. The European Central Bank is also involved, providing support but also monitoring proceedings to ensure that the country is regaining stability. The mechanism, which cooperates closely with the International Monetary Fund, is able to react quickly and decisively and is insulated from the ratings problems faced by EU member states.